The Basis 140 watts USB-C GAN charger is the best Apple 140 watts replacement I have tested. Uh, the original Apple one only has one port and this one has three USB ports, two USB Type-C and one USB Type-A. I'm charging three devices at the same time and I'm pulling over 120 watts and as the battery gets uh, full, the power consumption or power output is lowered. I'm going to do plenty of test cases and uh, show you the capabilities of this great charger. Okay, for starters, I just want to show you that the original Apple charger, which is rated at 140 watts, single USB Type-C. As you can see, their size is similar the basis is way smaller actually it is noticeably smaller than the original apple charger so to to get get the maximum charging speed out of these chargers i would recommend using the lightning uh, using the usb type c to max safe connector and uh, it will push out 140 watts if the battery is lower than maybe 20 percent and i'm sitting at 63 percent right now and the original Apple charger is uh, pu pushing out 87.5 watts. And let's try this single USB-C charger cable from uh, Basis. And it also comes with the uh, 100 watts, 140 watts high quality USB Type-C to USB Type-C char uh, charging cable, which is here. It's really high gauge. Um, Using the USB-C to USB-C cable when charging the MacBook Pro 16 inch or 14 uh, inch, the maximum allowed power is 100 watts. So again, if you want to get the fastest charging speed, you should use the Lightning, uh, use the USB-C to MagSafe. Uh, then the power distribution is like this: when two devices are connected via USB-C, then the first one will push out 100 watts max the second one is 30 watts so it is ideal for charging the uh, ipads for example the ipad pro uh, 11 inch which allows a maximum of 30 watts um, yeah we can actually verify that by connecting a usb-c cable with a built-in uh, monitor so we can see the um, power consumption to um, the Mac uh, iPad Pro. And additionally, when the third port is connected, the power distribution is going to change again. Uh, I believe it is um, the uh, 100 watts, uh, 20 watts, and then 30 watts. Uh, and um, let's see, I forgot <laughs> actually. Uh, yeah, 100 watts, 20 watts, and 18 watts, which is printed here on this label. Uh, yeah, so 100 watts plus 30 watts when two are used. When single port is used, 100 watts or 140 watts. Um, yeah, so I can highly recommend this thing as a replacement of the original uh, Apple charger, which is heavier. Uh, larger and with less port. This then uh, has the gallium nitride technology, so it's more compact uh, with more ports. So I'm charging four, four, uh, three devices at the same time, and it's going to push out 120 watts, uh, as you can see from the beginning. Again, as the battery gets full, it's gonna, um, you know, uh, the the power output, the total number will reduce actually. Um, then the iPad is sitting at 88%. It's pulling 17 watts right now. So uh, if this is not the perfect test case. So if you, all these devices are fully drained, then it's gonna push out 140 watts as the total output to charge all three devices. So if you're traveling, this is a great choice as you can charge the laptop at the, the full maximum allowed speed using USB-C to the USB-C, the iPad or an iPhone or smaller electronics. You can, of course, charge 
uh, much smaller ones such as an Apple Watch and a, um, the AirPods using the USB Type-C output or USB A, I'm sorry, USB A to the uh, watch adapter. And as it's working, you can see there is a blue indicator. It is marked as 100 watt, 140 watts GAN foldable plug. So again, just want to give you a quick comparison of its size versus the original Apple 140 watts. USB-C power adapter, which is included by the MacBook Pro 16 inch. Okay. It's a great replacement. I can highly recommend this charger.